out of here. I know. And Alan left you those prescriptions. Okay, is this something for the pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Same thing you were taking here, but it's not constant, is it? No, no, it's getting much better. Um, listen, uh, is, uh, is someone going to distribute those flowers around the hospital? Rest assured that Jack's generosity will become legendary around here. That guy is really something. Yeah, you don't know the half of it. No, but I'd love to hear. I bet you would. I would. <laughs> I know. Well, if you're ready, Miss Barrett, I will take you downstairs. I'm doing that. What are you talking about? I was here first. That doesn't matter. I have more seniority. So what? Oh, for Pete's sakes, you guys. Brenda, this is exactly why I don't hang out with you, because my ego can't take this. I completely understand. Hey, listen, no need to fight. You guys can both escort me out. How about that? Yeah? Escort Miss Barrett where? Outside. My cab awaits. Your cab? Mm -hmm. And what do you suggest I do with your limo? You weren't serious. Of course I was. It's a very large limousine parked right out front. You want to come and see? Yeah. You guys can go. I truly admire your style. However, the hospital does have a policy. Oh, yeah. Rules to live by. Not quaint. By all means, let's hear it. Well, it just says that any patient who is being discharged must be accompanied by a qualified adult. Come on, admit it. It's a silly rule waiting to be broken. Begging to be broken. Please, let me have the pleasure. Okay, okay, I'm not looking. Go. <laughs> You ready? I'm so ready. All right. Oh. Oh. Well, the water toast is temporary. I'm well stuck with champagne for after you finish with your pain medication. And then we'll celebrate in style. We are celebrating in style. We're in a limo. Here. You approve? Of course I approve. Are you kidding me? I love this, and I'm definitely not taking it for granted. How are you feeling? I'm feeling much better than I was. Good. Thank you. Hey, something's off here. What's that? Well, we're going the wrong way. Well, I, I guess that depends on where you're headed. Well, Kelly's is that way, so... What are you up to? <laughs> you, Miss Barrett. I'm the victim of a kidnapping. All right. You realize I've done this before, right? I mean, I've been here before. Now, if you're referring to that debacle with Sonny, that was a hijacking. This is a kidnapping. Oh, there's a difference. Oh, can't you tell? I mean, his was uh, obvious and clumsily executed. This one's a smoother silk. And I can guarantee you, we will reach our destination. Am I allowed to ask where that might be? Yes, of course you are. Okay. <laughs> so? Oh, I see. It just doesn't matter how many times I ask because you're just not going to tell me. Right? No, telling would ruin the surprise. Why are you surprising me? Because you've just been through an ordeal. And you're hit by a car. You almost died. You've been in confinement. You know, I've only been in hospital once. Overnight. The thought of not being able to leave drove me crazy. I thought about that. Watching you lying there. And I decided, as soon as you were released, there was nothing but pampering. And a uh, genuine dose of freedom. Well, not necessarily in that order. What am I going to do with you? I don't know. Think of something. 